Hello and welcome. You are watching NewsX and I am Megha Sharma. Taking a look at West Bengal, there were three constituencies that went to poll. All have been the recently occupied BJP bastions. However, there were complaints of assault, there was violence uh, and uh, in the first phase of Lok Sabha elections which have kicked off in West Bengal, there were a number of videos that had also been posted of stone pelting between the TMC and the BJP leaders, beg your pardon, the workers. There were in fact a number of reports where assaults had been, had been uh, uh, complained about in West Bengal. So, so, so uh, my, my position over here is, while the rest of the country went to poll in uh, uh, a peaceful, harmonial fashion, why is violence and assault peculiar to West Bengal? In fact, I'm going to bring you a contrast over here. My colleagues, my reporters were on the ground uh, across the length and breadth of the country in West Bengal as well. And here's a complete contrast of the way the people, the voters who came out to vote and their responses to my, the questions that had been asked by my report, reporters. Take a look. ये जो आज चुनाव दे रहे आ रहा है आप लोग कौन से मुद्दे के ऊपर फोकस है आप लोगों का हमें भी कुछ नहीं बोलना चाहते मंत्री इस बारे में कुछ नहीं बोलना चाहते नया जो सर मैडम नया जो जिनको चुनने वाले हैं क्या उम्मीद है उनसे क्या अगले पांच साल में क्या क्या चाहिए आप लोगों का क्या क्या उम्मीद लेके आज आए हैं डिमांड तो बहुत खुद है लेकिन अभी हम कॉम्प्लीमेंट नहीं देना चाहते हैं देखते हैं कि आगे क्या होते हैं एक कुछ सोच के तो हम लोग वोट देने आए हैं ऑब्वियसली लेकिन अभी इतना क्लियर कॉम्प्लीमेंट देना अभी बहुत मुश्किल है कौन से कौन से मुद्दे के ऊपर फोकस रहेगा आज हमें तो नहीं पता <laughs> माँ जी एक पूछना चाहूंगा कि कौन से मुद्दे के ऊपर फोकस करके आज चुनाव देने आए हैं <laughs> कौन से मुद्दा <laughs> क्या चाहिए पांच साल के लिए अगले वोट दिया चलो जब आप यहाँ पे वोट देने सुबह सुबह किन मुद्दों को आपको लगता है इम्पोर्टेंट है क्या मुद्दा बताया ना आपको जो आपने बताया था हाँ वही मुद्दा मैंने शिक्षा ही है स्वास्थ्य है समय गरीब आदमी को सुविधा मिले बच्चे लोग का पढ़ाई है ये सब के लिए कौन से इशू आपको लगता है सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है देखिए इशू आपके लिए इशू देखिए युवा का जो रोजगार का इशू है ये फोकस में आना चाहिए क्योंकि तो युवा अगर काम करेगा तभी देश आगे लेकिन पीलीभीत में कोई बड़े मुद्दे होंगे जिसकी वजह से आपको परेशानी हो रही है सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत जानवरों की है जानवरों के लिए होगा अंकल जी आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे क्या मुद्दे हैं इस बार 2024 चुनावों में और पीलीभीत में क्या प्रॉब्लम है कोई मुद्दे नहीं है मुद्दे पर यही है नौकरी उकरी के रोजगार के और सब Oh, I said, this is what I wanted to depict uh, a demonstration over here. Why, why are people of Bengal so scared to speak to the reporters? Uh, why are they quiet? Are they shy? That doesn't look like Bengalis are shy. Uh, they are uh, open to speaking. In fact, they emphatically put their points. Uh, so, so Joyita, quickly getting a response. Is this, is this just uh, the way Bengalis are? Or, 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 or is there something, uh, something wrong? Uh, that is taking place in West Bengal because of which people seem to be a little shuddered, a little cautious. They don't want to come out and speak in front of the cameras. What are they scared of? Uh, well, Megha, uh, as you know, Bengalis invented the word Adda. They are among the most garrulous people in the country. Once they are sitting at a tea stall or in the drawing room or in the living room, they do not stop talking. But the very fact that they are totally clamming up when in front of the camera, that is telling a story. That is a reflection of the current political situation in Bengal, where people will not talk. You know what they have, what exactly their issues are, what they will be voting for, who they. I mean, forget about uh, most people anyway will not talk about who they are voting for. But yes, the the silence itself is a story. You are absolutely. Uh, well, that's an interesting point to make over there. Uh, let me get in uh, Manav Jaiswal. He's a TMC spokesperson. Manav, uh, your opinion, what, what has happened to the people of Bengal? Why are they uh, reluctant, reticent uh, in front of the cameras? Mm -hmm. 
Manav, can you hear me? Okay, it looks like Manav from the TMC seems reluctant to speak to me as well. We'll try to get him uh, back on the telecast just a short while. Uh, I'm guessing it's, a, it's an audio issue. Uh, Madhubi Agarwal, BJP spokesperson. Now, Madhubi, a response from you about, you know, violence. Uh, you know, largely a peaceful voting phase one that has happened across the country. There has been violence that has been reported here in the three constituencies of West Bengal. And an incident of violence that has reported in Manipur. So, Madhbi, what uh, the ground situation, accusations being levied by the TMC, by the BJP, each of you have attacked each other, stone pelting has happened, assaults have happened. But uh, how, how safe and secure is the voter? Because if they are not even willing to come out and speak, I, I am assuming, looking at them, uh, that they fear for their lives. Okay, we'll try to fix that audio. Uh, I, 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 there seems to be an audio issue. Madhavi, if you can, uh, Madhavi, if you can hear us, and if you could unmute yourself so that we are able to hear you. Am I? Am I audio? Yes. Now you are. Please Does go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. First of all, uh, first of all, I would like to thanks all the voters who come out of their homes and voted more than eighty percent, which is really very positive in this uh, heat wave in West, uh, West Bengal. Uh, this. Positive atmosphere because uh, eighty percent uh, voting is uh, today is happening. So this positive atmosphere was the created because of the central force only. I must say that. And uh, second thing I want to say uh, the massive turnout of the voter mean that the people of Bengal have come together and launched a campaign to establish the BJP in West Bengal. And uh, of course, violence uh, is uh, some uh, has been uh, violence in some places, which is the hallmark of West Bengal. Everybody know that, and still people come out of their homes for the voting in large number. This uh, we can say that BJP is going to establish, uh, and BJP will win more seats in West Bengal than last time. I must say that. Okay. And, okay. And uh, Ma uh, definitely. Yeah. And, Ma uh, Manav, can you hear me now? If we can unmute Manav and quickly uh, understand, Ravi Manav, if you were paying attention to the uh, uh, debate that we have had and my panelists who have spoken and, and the question I continue to raise, I don't know if you saw the video or at least heard it, where we are, we are asking people and uh, what are the issues that you are going to vote for? Are you voting for change? What are the reasons that you feel dissatisfied or satisfied with the current government? And there was no answer whatsoever. Well, I, I couldn't follow that uh, that end of yours, but nevertheless, I was listening to Madhavi ji. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate every citizen of the country who has voted. Uh, they have done justice to the democracy, to the constitution of India. So they should be congratulated and clapped for. Uh, and on top of it, I would like to congratulate every woman. Basically, uh, today you could see that there have been massive women, you know, voters which have, who have come out and they voted in Bengal. You know, every woman who has come out and voted in Bengal, they have spoken about Lakshmi Bhandar, they have spoken about Didi, the way, the grid that she has been fighting on. You have seen there have been some incidences of, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that, uh, places where you have seen the BJP people going and, uh, you know, uh, tarnishing the image of Bengal. Whereas you have seen one of our candidates from Malipur, who had went into the BJP camp, spoken to the people there, spoken to the every, you know, the characters of the BJP and they had sat together had tea and everything. So this is what the culture of India is. The the, the, the whole essence of India is, you know, an inclusiveness for everyone. And this is what Bengal stands for. Bengal is united. Bengal has voted together for the for the change in the central government. And I'm, I'm appalled and I'm actually, it's very funny also to listen to Madhavi ji when he says the BJP will come even with the more seats. The, the, the guru, the Brasachari Jumla party guru, is already shivering. Today, we are already bringing up the, the three consecutive, uh, you know, Bijoy Mitchell, we call it. It's, it's basically a rally of win. The win of democracy, win for the constitution, win for the people of Bengal. In Alipurdwar, in Jalpaiguri, as well as in Kuchbihar, the candidates are going to be doing the uh, Bijoy Mitchell, which is the, you know, rally for win. Along with... Okay. Fair uh, enough, uh, fair enough. Uh, but that's your point of view. That is the TMC point of view. But Manu, my question over here is that largely, you know, the, the 
election, the voting has happened very peacefully today in the rest of the country. Why is Bengal violent? No, see, I'll tell you very honestly, you know, BJP, which is the turncoat of the CPI and the most of the people, this is how they've been doing. They want to tarnish the image of Bengal. And this is what has happened. You know, the people, the, our karakartas have been hit. We have already uh, cleared with the uh, election commission. Election commission has changed a lot of officers. Today, who I don't know. Off. Today, there were five, six instances where there was assault, stone pelting that was happening. And uh, mind you, this was not just the BJP. There were the TMC workers also involved. In fact, Congress no, no, has no, come no, out I, and alleged that I mean, there, I mean, were, there were TMC I mean, workers who attacked I mean, their I mean, leaders I mean, also. I mean, See, what has happened in recent times, the election commission, since the model code of conduct has come into place, election commission has changed and, you know, transferred a lot of local offices. Now, in that is what has happened. BJP had got a high end. You know, they, they are creating this in the, in the, in the, in the uh, face of TMC or probably in the face of the CPIM. They would not face the public directly. They would not do it directly. They would do via channel. They're making, they're so, paying but money. Why, why are they, for, why, if, if you're saying it is the BJP's handiwork, why is BJP doing this only in West Bengal? Why is it not doing in Kerala or Tamil see, Nadu or no, in see, other opposition no. ruled states? See, see, today eventually, you know what has happened? Bengal has become the Kohinoor of India. The, the, the ruler, okay. the Jamitas, they want to conquer Bengal and put that throne. Uh, put that uh, diamond into that stone. Mind you, the the, the contribution of the of the tam, of the of Tamil Nadu uh, to the national GDP is much 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 higher than no, no, no. than you West Bengal. Yeah. Than it West is not about the national GDP. It is about the narrative which the Prime Minister Modi wants to create for the rest of the country to rule the country. You have to understand that the whole narrative is very big. Bengal. Being a diamond is not because of the benefit that is bringing to the GDP or to the tradition. You know, I, I don't, Bengal I don't take your argument on face value own. that it is only the BJP and the other political parties in the opposition that are tarnishing the TMC. Uh, there is violence that has it's happened. This is not the first time. This happens repeatedly. This has been happening for for since the time that I have been in journalism and I have been witnessing this. So, so this yeah, this can't this can't, this can't be this can't be a, this is not a one-off incident, and, and it's I'm sorry if I don't believe that you say that it is only it is only the opposition parties which are doing it. I have with me also on the telecast Swati Chandrasekhar. She is a Congress spokesperson. Swati, good to have you on the telecast. And what's your what's your opinion? I want to understand from you: Are the people of West Bengal fearful of their lives that they don't want to come out and speak? to the media? You're talking about people coming out and speaking to the media. I think you must actually see no, those people. No, they are not speaking. Vote. They are not Whoever. speaking. They are not speaking. They are not even... They are not I even... They don't you want to, to talk. You have come out and voted. If, if it was... If the situation was so fearful, if people were in such a bad shape, then voting percentage, I think, have to observe that. Instead of just commenting that uh, there has been riots, there has been, uh, 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 you know, during elections, there, there are massacres that happened. I think... I understand. I understand. Uh, many times this has been uh, the situation uh, in uh, a few of the eastern states uh, and also tribal states in uh, India. But uh, nevertheless, both the state government and I think we have to actually congratulate both the state government and uh, uh, central forces who actually paved the way for a very good voting here in Bengal rather than actually making this an uh, issue. Okay, all right. Uh, also, understanding from you, Swati, about about the violence that continues to be uh, the highlight of every election that takes place in West Bengal. Uh, can this situation be curtailed? Also, keeping in mind that if voters are coming out in large numbers, what does this? What? How can it be understood as? Are voters voting for change? Are voters coming out uh, against the TMC for the BJP? Are voters coming out in favor of the opposition versus the BJP? How, how do we even translate this? Because despite, like you rightfully mentioned, despite these huge number of instances of violence, people have come out and voted. They have not spoken publicly. They are not speaking to the media. 
uh, but they are casting their vote. See, people also came in large numbers and uh, voted for TMC, uh, Honorable Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, in the last assembly elections. So uh, we have seen, uh, you know, inducted uh, violence even then, and uh, we have seen this uh, tutu may be happening. Uh, TMC workers telling that BJP people did this, and BJP people telling that TMC did this, and somewhere uh, left uh, creeps in. But but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something which is very clearly whenever, whenever state in in states like these states, whenever in these states people have come out in large number have, and have voted, it is very clear. One thing is they are feeling they are feeling safe and they are coming out for voting. They know that the law and order is in place, irrespective of whatever the violence that's been recorded by the media in some parts of the Bengal. People are very safe. They are coming out and voting. They know that nothing is going to happen to them. There is going to be no harm to them. And also okay. this is something. Okay, very fine. Clear. You know, my, uh, there there have been there have been complaints that have been uh, raised by the Congress as well. Uh, they have filed cases against the TMC workers, alleg alleging, accusing them of assault on the Congress on the Congress workers. In fact, Mamata Banerjee has come out today. Swati, if you can hear me, Mamata Banerjee has come out today, made a statement. She said, "Congress in Bengal is a BJP agent." Congress in Bengal is a BJP agent. Wow. Yes, today. This is not I the first time. This is not the first time Mamta Banerjee has said this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I many times, uh, uh, you know, understand. Uh, I many times understand that uh, there, there has been uh, statements that's been uh, put forth like this. If Congress is going to be BJP's agent and BJP is going to be Congress agent, then I think democracy is going to be dead in this country. This can never ever happen. There might be a lot of instances where BJP don't but have leaders. But why is why is why is Mamata Banerjee? Why is TMC? Why is TMC a show against the Congress? Why is the TMC so? Why is the TMC against the Congress? Congress, which are united as part of India Alliance. Never be a victim of BJP. This is something which is very clear, and and I don't think we accept the statement. Okay, all right, Dr. S K Datta. Uh, quickly, uh, how do you gauge? Uh, the response of the people in the number of people who have come out to vote in large numbers. And uh, I think Bengal is the place, the three constituencies, where the number of voters who have come out and voted is the largest across all the states versus the violence that has been witnessed, that has been the trademark of West Bengal politics and elections. Well, uh, Megha, uh, I have been listening to all the panelists and let me come to the whole issue in a very clear-cut way itself and I'll speak to the point only. The stoic silence of the voters in Bengal and the stoic eyes of the voters in Bengal speaks volumes, the reality, and speaks volumes as to what is the reality and how fearful and dreaded the reality is. I was listening to my friend from TMC, Manas Jaswal, saying that everything is so honky dory and so good. Uh, and uh, it is the same kind of rhetoric which they had given in 2019. So the same kind of rhetoric which they had been saying that TMC would be sweeping the polls in Bengal, would be winning 42 seats. The reality was something else. We, uh, there was an undercurrent of Chup Chap Kamal Chap. And that Chup Chap Kamal Chap legacy is continuing in Bengal, this time in a much bigger way. You were asking me as to why people are not speaking. Do you, uh, do you expect them to speak and know the reality as to what will happen with them and with their dear ones? The moment they open up their mouth, they will be lynched, they will be killed, and they will be silenced forever. This is the stoic reality of Bengal, and no okay. one can run away from this reality. Okay. You know, like Manav, just give me five seconds more, please. Manav Jaswal was speaking about the good things being done by the TMC government, and TMC government has performed so well. Had it been so, then the Calcutta High Court would not have been blind in its observation. Had it been so, 
and if I buy the argument of Manav Jaiswal, then I would say that the Human Rights Commission is blind, the SCFT Commission is blind, the Calcutta High Court is blind, the Honorable Governor is blind, okay. the Election Commission is blind. Only TMC has got eight compound eyes. And that's the reason they state that they have done so much, so good and so much. Just wait for the 3rd okay. of June and okay. see the reality for yourself. Uh, Manav, would, would you quickly want to make a comment before I wrap this up? I would not, 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 not like to be personal, you know, but Mr. Datta is far away from the city of Bengal. From the state of Bengal, he has got no idea. BJP has got no karakarta, sir. The booth was khali in Alipurdwar. You are not aware of it. And Abki Bar Kamal Shab nahi hai. Abki Bar Doso Par nahi hoga. You see, the Doso Par wala theory is going to come into play. Last time in 2019, these people have blocked the country in the name of the army, in the name of the death soldiers, and in the name of the martyrs. So this is what the country has come up to. This Modi ji, this Mamit Shah ji, the Bharatiya Jumla party is working very hard. The kind of extortion they have done in so many years is open to public today. They can go into a lot of press conferences like, uh, you know, the press conference which happens with ANI. You know, but like but Manava, I mean, I don't understand the equation between the TMC, which is an India Alliance member, and the Congress. Like, if, if uh, Amita Banerjee can come out and make statements that the Congress is an agent of the BJP, uh, how is India Alliance going to work? I'll tell you, Megha. In Bengal, you have got a very elite leader of Congress, Mr. Adhiranjan Chaudhary. He has been a president, he has been the Lok Sabha you know, opposition leader. And what he has been doing, he is only looking up the one jurisdiction of his, himself. He is only one man, one leader in Bengal. The rest of the city, rest of the state is lacking their leadership. They want someone else to take the, you know, uh, banter ahead. They want someone to take the new mashal. But unfortunately, I don't know what, what is happening with Congress. But yeah, we are okay. supporting the India Alliance. Okay. So from every you are supporting the... India Alliance, but you are not supporting the Congress, you are not supporting the CPIM. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Quickly, Joita, uh, you know, a, a closing comment from you. In a situation such as this, uh, again, we are predicting how, how do we forecast who is going to win the election. BJP was able to make great inroads last time around in assembly elections as well. But uh, what's the mood of the people today on the ground? Well, first of all, I think uh, in, more about, you know, instead of predicting what will happen on 4th June, I think we should be more mindful of the fact that whether people have been able to come out and vote, why that West Bengal should see, witness so much violence in every election, how effective the central forces have been, you know, in spite of what the voting percentage is always good, of course, but then I do not want to get into the details and the speculation about what all is said about the voting percentage. But the thing is, you see, why should we witness scenes of violence? It's as simple as that. In that way, you know, what is the EC also doing? I'm also going to raise a question about what exactly the EC has been able to do. Why are there so many allegations of rigging and booth capturing coming? You know, that should not have happened. Mm. So, you see, okay. until and unless you are able to clean up the voting process in uh, Bengal, the electoral process in Bengal, I do not think a fair uh, voting will ever happen in that okay. state. Okay, all right. On that note, I'm out of time. I thank all of you for joining me on the telecast. And uh, thanks for watching NewsX.